welcome to yoga. For our practice today, you may need a block or two. Grab your things, then meet me on your mat. Let's begin in a seated position. Any comfortable seated position that works for you. Place your hands in your lap. Close your eyes. And take a big breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Again, in through your nose. Bigger breath out through your mouth. This last time, in through your nose. Out through your mouth, release it all out. And seal your lips. And continue breathing smooth and deep in and out through your nose. As you observe every sensation in your body in this pose. Throughout our practice today, we'll use this sensation, whatever you feel, wherever you feel it, as a way to anchor your mind on your mat in the present moment. You're here now. Be here now. When you're ready, gently blink your eyes open and make your way to a tabletop on your hands and knees. For some cat-cow spinal waves, inhale as you drop your belly, lift your chin, then exhale as you round your spine, tuck your chin, and keep it going following the pace of your breath. And feel free to add any other movement that your body needs today. And come back to your neutral spine. Meet me in child's pose. With your knees as wide as comfortable, arms long in front of you. Surrender your upper body down to the mat and relax everything that you don't need. Each exhale an opportunity to release tension. and make your way to Downward Facing Dog. From here, step your right foot to the top of your mat. You will want a wide stance here, so if you need to, grab your ankle with your hand and pull it up. So your right knee is stacked on top of your right ankle. From here, Plant your left hand down on the mat or on fingertips and reach your right arm up to the ceiling for a dragonfly. We'll be in the next few poses for about three to five breaths each. So feel free to take any movement or variation that feels best for you. In this dragonfly, you're welcome to lean back, opening up through your chest, or sink into your hips. From here, take your right hand down and place it inside of your right ankle as your back heel spins down, setting up for extended side angle. So you can take your right fingertips down on the mat, you can place your hand on a block or even your forearm on your thigh. Wherever you are, reach your left arm up to the ceiling and lift up and back through your left shoulder. And consider that all of this is about relaxing and releasing. So once we put ourselves in a position, we'll relax what we don't need instead of straining and reaching for a stretch. So give that a try in our next pose, runner's lunge. Lower both hands down to the mat inside of your right foot. Lower your back knee down and sink into your hips. Relax, don't strain. 
and notice if you can feel any connection with the sensation in your left hip flexor to your deep, smooth breath. To intensify, bend your back knee and reach back with your right hand. And it's okay if there's space between your hand and your foot. You're probably still feeling a lot of the sensation, so just breathe into that. If you do connect your hand to your foot, then just open up through your chest. Deepen your breath. Each inhale, an opportunity to lengthen. Each exhale, an opportunity to soften. Release your back foot with both hands down. Shift your hips back to straighten out your right leg so your hips stack over your left knee. Your hands can plant on fingertips or on your blocks, but do your best to find a long spine lengthening out of your hips. Do yourself a favor and point your toes like you were trying to get your big toe to touch the mat. I know you feel it. Relax your face or try a gentle smile, some counter tension in your face. Now from here, slowly rise to stand on your left knee. And if you have a block, place it next to your left ankle on its highest setting. You'll thank me later. And with your right leg straight out in front of you, with your right foot flat on your mat, reach your left hand back to rest on your block or on your ankle or on your mat behind you. Then reach your right arm up to the ceiling for a variation of half camel. Allow the intensity to keep you present. And this is already very intense, I know. But if you want, you can take it a step further by reaching your arm back. Breathe. When you're breathing deeply, remember that your exhale is the most important part of that breath. Your exhale is where you can let go of all the stale air in your lungs, making space for an even deeper inhale. So just think to yourself, take care of the exhale the inhale will take care of itself. With control, slowly rise. Walk your hands forward to find a runner's lunge. Both hands plant inside of your right ankle. Sink into your hips, noticing how the sensation of the stretch has moved in your hip flexor, higher up into your psoas. This is a good place to reset and relax from that half camel. Then from here, shift your hips back once more to take a seat on your heel or on your block for another variation of Hanumanasana prep, your deep hamstring stretch. But this time your hips are all the way down, your leg is long in front of you, and you can stay tall, just hinging at your hips, or fold and let gravity take hold.
From here, slowly rise. Walk your hands forward. and make your way back to downward facing dog. Notice how your right and left side might feel pretty different at this point. Then let's even it out and step your left foot forward. Take a long stance so your left knee is stacked over your left ankle. Then when you're ready, find dragonfly. A similar variation that you took on the other side with your right hand down, your left arm high, open through your chest, sink into your hips, deepen your breath. Next, find extended side angle. Lower your left hand down, propping as you please, then reach your right arm high. As you spin your back heel down, your hips will open towards the side of your mat, but your left forearm keeps your left knee pressing open. This invites some nice tension releasing sensation in your left inner thigh. And as you reach up through your right arm and lean back through your right shoulder, you're actually twisting your body open. This is really good for your posture. Breathe into all the sensation that you feel in this pose. From here, lower down into runner's lunge. Releasing both hands down inside of your left ankle. Lower your back knee down. And relax. Don't strain. Don't reach. Just breathe. Since we're already manipulating our body into positions, there's no need to strain to try to intensify the stretch. That will happen as long as you relax into place. And if you do find yourself straining, well, your body is going to get strained as a result. Because your body doesn't know if it should trust you. Is this a good place to be or a bad place to be? So it's going to defensively tense up against you. Which is why the key focus here within every stretch is to relax and just breathe. And add on your quad opener. Bend your right knee. Reach back with your left hand. Then gentle release and shift your hips back, straightening out your left leg, propping your hands on fingertips or on your blocks for Hanumanasana prep, but straighten out your left foot, pointing your toes as if you're trying to get your big toe to touch the mat. And remember, Relax into place. You can soften your shoulders. The muscles in your face won't help you here unless you're smiling. You got this. Setting up your half camel slowly rise to stand on your right knee with your left foot anchored flat on the mat left leg long move your block into place if you use it on the other side 
And when you're ready, you'll reach your right arm back, finding a place of support on the block, ankle, or ground, and reach your left arm up. Long, deep breaths in through your nose. Long, deep breath out through your nose. Remember, you can reach back if you did on the other side, intensifying even more as long as you can still control your breath and the muscles in your face. You're here for two more deep, smooth breaths. With control, slowly rise. Then walk your hands forward, coming into your runner's lunge, a place to just relax and reset. Soften through your hips and shoulders. Feel your breath as it moves in and out of your body. Then shift your hips back, take a seat on your heel or on your block So the same variation of Hanumanasana prep that you took on the other side. Knowing that you're doing plenty just by hinging slightly at your hips. Or if it works for you, you can just completely fold and give into gravity. You're here for three, two, one. Make your way to downward facing dog. And notice how this down dog feels different than the one before. Make your way to a high plank and lower all the way down to your belly. For one of my favorite twists, bend your left knee open so your left inner thigh plants on your mat, your left shin is parallel with the side of your mat. Prop up on your forearm so that you can thread your right arm underneath you coming to lie down on your right shoulder. Then lower your right temple down towards the mat and reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Take a big inhale. Exhale, open up into a twist, allowing gravity to take hold of your left arm as it slowly lowers down behind you. And let your body relax into place. Your left knee might drag back, your left arm might not touch the ground just yet. Wherever you are, breathe smooth and deep and feel how your breath can massage and relax your body into place. Draw your navel into your spine to engage your core. Then reach your left arm back up to the ceiling. Plant your left hand down on your mat. Press up to de-thread the needle and then straighten both legs out behind you to switch sides. Bend your right knee open, right shin parallel to the side of your mat. Prop up on forearms to thread your left arm underneath. Lower your left temple down and take a big inhale as you reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale as you open into your twist.
slowly. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Then plant your right hand back down on your mat. Press up as you de-thread the needle. And take your time as you make your way to extended child's pose. Knees wide so your belly can fall between your thighs. Arms long so you can relax through your shoulders. Rest your forehead on your mat. And find a sense of gratitude for how you feel right here, right now. And the commitment that you made to yourself in this practice today. Namaste.